All right, so we have a Rotary International logo. We're going to clip out so that it's transparent. Uh, just to show you that it's high resolution, I'm going to press the Control-1 key, and then we can see that it's a pretty reasonable resolution. So I press the F4 to get a zoom to everything. Press the W key to bring up the wand tool. Left click on a white area. And in this case, I could go ahead and launch the Magic Erase uh, tool here, and there is a Select Similar button on it, which will automatically select all the white areas. That doesn't always work because it's looking for a white pixel in this case. And uh, for this case, it's okay, but for some logos, there might be white inside the logo that you wanted to keep. But uh, anyway, we'll go with what we have for now. The feathering option uh, is a quick way to choose various feathering amounts. I'm going to go ahead and choose three in this case, and it's automatically clipped everything out. You can check uh, the background for fringing by doing a fringe test. And uh, we can just go in here real quick to see how our edges are looking. And we'll say that's good. Press the delete button. And you could you have the chance to auto crop down to the, um, the size of the image, which it already is in this case. Uh, you could choose to save it as a Photoshop file or put it on the clipboard. And if you put it on the clipboard, you can paste directly into the equivalent version of CorelDRAW, in this case X4. So um, if we check the help area, the crop margin here gives you an option and then also a folder for where you would want to save your PSD files. Okay, so it's a pretty good product for, especially you have a lot of clipping to do. Um, and uh, I use it quite often for clipping out products and things like that. And it's, it works really good.